let us have another example. Number 4, reduce x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 4y equals negative 1 to the standard form and find the center and radius. In this problem, hindi na natin kailangan mag-divide kasi naka-x squared plus y squared na ang general equation is circle. And the constant term has already been transposed to the other side. So we can now proceed in completing the square in x and y. First, we collect all x. We have x squared minus 2x. Then, collect all y's. We have y squared minus 4y equals negative 1. We can now complete the square first in x. So we copy x squared minus 2x. Apply the rule square of half the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x in this problem is negative 2. That's why we have 1 half times negative 2 squared square of half the coefficient of x which is negative 2. 1 half times negative 2 is negative 1. Negative 2 times 1 is equal to negative 2 divided by 2 equals negative 1. Then, negative 1 squared is positive 1. Therefore, we write here plus 1. Next, complete the square in y. The coefficient of y is negative 4. Apply the rule square of half the coefficient of y, which is negative 4. And this is equal to negative 2 squared. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Divide 2 is negative 2. Then square it, we have positive 4. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. So we write here plus 4. And this is equal to negative 1. But remember to add these values to the right side of the equation. We can now factor the expression on the left side. Remember our technique. We are writing here just half the coefficient of x. So what is half of negative 2? Negative 2 divided 2 is negative 1. Plus, factor this expression. What's half of negative 4? Negative 4 divided 2 is negative 2, or this value. And this is equal to we cancel out 1, what's left is 4. And this is the standard form of the circle. Thus, the center is at positive 1 and 2, and r squared is equal to 4. Solve for r by taking the square root of 4, which is 2. Another example. Number 5, express x squared plus y squared plus 2x equals 10y minus 30 in standard form. In this problem, hindi na rin natin kailangan mag-divide kasi naka-x squared plus y squared na ang first two terms. We just have to rearrange the terms in general form. So let's just copy these first three terms kasi okay na siya. Then transpose 10y to the left side kaya naging negative 10y equals negative 30. Hindi na rin natin ito itratranspose kasi ang constant dapat nasa right side ni equation. Inasa e right side na siya kaya hindi na natin ito gagalawin. Ngayon na naka-arrange na siya, next is to complete the square. Collect all x and all y equals negative 30. First, let's complete the square in x. Again, use the rule square of half the coefficient of x. In this case, the coefficient of x is positive 2. So what is half of positive 2? 2 divided 2 is equal to 1. Then square it, 1 squared or 1 raised to 2 is equal to 1. Thus, we write here plus 1. Again, half of positive 2 is 1 and 1 squared is also equal to 1. Plus, Complete the square in y. The coefficient of y in this case is negative 10. Apply the rule, what's half of negative 10? It's negative 5. Negative 10 divided 2 is negative 5. Then do not forget to square. Negative 5 squared is positive 25. So we write here plus 25 equals negative 30 plus 1 plus 25. Do not forget to add these values to the right side. Then, let us factor the expression. So what value should we write here? 
it's half the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x in this case is positive 2. Divide it by 2 to get its half. So positive 2 divide 2 is positive 1. So if we factor x squared plus 2x plus 1, it is equal to x plus 1 raised to 2. Plus, let us factor y squared minus 10y plus 25. Anong value naman ang ilalagay natin dito kay y? Same process, half the coefficient. The coefficient of y is negative 10. So what's half of negative 10? It's negative 5. Negative 10 divided 2 is negative 5. Pagkatapos, simplify naman natin ito. So this is equal to negative 30 plus 1 is negative 29 plus 25 is negative 4. And this is the standard equation of the circle. However, since the radius is negative, the circle does not exist. Therefore, this equation has no graph. So kung negative ang radius, the circle does not exist. Let us try another example. Number 6, let us also express x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 4y equals negative 5 in standard form. In this problem, hindi na natin kailangan i-arrange ang terms kasi naka-arrange na siya. We have x squared plus y squared, then negative 2x, which is dx. Next is negative 4y, which is ey, at ang constant term ay na-transpose na sa right side. So ang gagawin na lang natin ay i-collect ang lahat ng may x at lahat ng may y. That's why we have x squared minus 2x plus y squared minus 4y equals negative 5. Complete the square in x. The coefficient of x is negative 2. To complete the square, we take half the coefficient of x and square it. So negative 2 divide 2 is negative 1. And negative 1 squared is positive 1. Next, complete the square in y. The coefficient of y is negative 4. Half of negative 4 is negative 2. Negative 4 divided 2 is equal to negative 2. Then, negative 2 squared is positive 4 equals negative 5. Then, do not forget to add 1 and 4. Then, factor the expression. So, this will be x minus 1 raised to 2. Bakit negative 1? Kinuha natin ang half ni negative 2, kaya negative 1 siya dito. Plus, y minus 2 raised to 2. Bakit naman negative 2 ang value dito? Ganun pa rin, kinuha natin ang half ni negative 4, which is the coefficient of y, kaya naging negative 2. And this is equal to negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4 plus 4 that will become 0. And this is the standard form of problem number 6. And as you can see, the radius is 0. If the radius is 0, the center is the only point in the plane that satisfies the original equation. Meaning, kung i-graph natin ito, yung center lang ang meron tayo, which is at positive 1 and 2. Kasi yung radius natin is 0. Si center lang ang may paplat natin sa Cartesian plane. That is why this equation is referred to as point circle or degenerate circle. In general, to determine whether each equation represents a circle, a point circle, or has no graph, we use the formula r squared equals d squared over 4 plus e squared over 4 minus f, where d is equal to negative 2h, e is equal to negative 2k, and f is equal to h squared plus k squared minus r squared. Take note that if this value is greater than 0, the equation represents a circle. But if the value of r squared is equal to 0, it is a point circle. And if it's less than 0, it has no graph, meaning the circle does not exist. Example. Determine whether each equation represents a circle, a point circle, or has no graph. Since pinadidetermine lang sa atin, if the equation represents a circle, a point circle, or has no graph, hindi na natin kailangan i-complete ang square in x and y kasi hindi naman hinihingi ang standard form ni circle. We just need to use the formula r squared equals d squared over 4 plus e squared over 4 minus f. 
Example number one. Is the equation x squared plus y squared plus 10y equals zero a circle, a point circle, or has no graph? So first, we need to determine the value of d, e, and f. Remember that the general form of the circle is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero. Sa given equation, makikita natin na after ni y squared ay 10y, which is our e times y. So walang dx as well as f pagkatapos ni 10y equals zero agad ang equation. And that means the value of d and f is equal to zero kasi walang d and f sa given equation. While e, yung my y, is equal to positive 10. Since we already have the value of d, e, and f, we can now determine if this equation represents a circle, a point circle, or has no graph by using this formula. So let us substitute the value of d, which is 0, e, which is 10, and f, which is also equal to 0. Simplify, 0 squared is 0, divide 4 is 0, plus 10 squared is 100, 10 times 10 is equal to 100, divided by 4 is equal to 25, then minus 0. So 0 plus 25 minus 0 is equal to 25. Now, since the value of r squared is greater than 0, 25 is obviously greater than 0, this means the equation represents a circle. Another example, is this equation a circle, a point circle, or has no graph? First, let us identify the value of d, e, and f. Meron ba tayong value ni d? Makikita ang value ni d kung may x variable siya. Since we have here negative 6x, that means the value of d is negative 6. Next, find the value of e. Si e naman makikita natin kung may y variable siya. And we have here plus 2y. That means e is equal to positive 2. And since we have a constant term, which is 10, that is why the value of f is 10. We can now solve for r squared, where d is equal to negative 6, e equals 2, and f equals 10. Simplify, negative 6 squared is 36, divided by 4 is 9, plus 2 squared is 4, divided by 4 is 1, minus 10. So 9 plus 1 is 10, minus 10 equals 0. Since r squared is equal to 0, the equation represents a point circle. Let us try one more example. Number 3, the equation is x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y plus 18 equals 0. The value of d is equal to 4, e is equal to negative 6, while f is equal to positive 18. Replace d, e, and f with its value and simplify. 4 squared is 16 divided by 4 is 4. Plus, negative 6 squared is 36 divided 4 is 9 minus 18. 4 plus 9 is 13 minus 18 is negative 5. And this is less than 0. Therefore, this equation has no graph. And that is all about circle in general form. Pag-aralan itong mabuti, especially in how to complete the square, kasi pag tinalaki na natin ang parabola, ellipse at hyperbola, ay magagamit natin ito. Just keep on practicing, never give up, I believe you can do it.